Hello beautiful soul, I'm back finally with your angel guidance for the upcoming week from the 8th through the 14th of October 2018. My name is Maria, it's a pleasure to receive you here in my channel with our angels, to have you here joining our beautiful souls family. And if this is your first time here, remember to go very quickly now to the subscribe button below and click on the bell next to it, so you will receive notifications whenever a new video, a new angel guidance, a new Reiki healing, or any video that will connect you with your higher self, with your heart, whenever one of them comes up, you will be notified. Okay, my dear. So as I told you, we're going to be doing our angel guidance for this week. I'm going to be using the Angel Dreams Oracle cards. This is a beautiful deck by the Ring Virtual and Melissa Virtual. We have 45, uh, five, 55 cards here in this deck. Beautiful cards. It's a wonderful energy, very strong, actually very powerful energy. I love this deck but I use it in very specific occasions whenever I feel that the energy is stronger, that I need to go a little bit deeper to higher uh, levels of consciousness, to higher energy. So I use this deck, that's why I chose this for this week to bring us a little bit of a deeper message from the angels. I got the cards right here. Gosh, it's already here. I don't even need to start shuffling. We have the card for Monday and Tuesday. Beautiful, oh, beautiful. We have the green card. The green card is about the heart chakra. It's about compassion, love, and cultivation. You know, if you know me for some time, the heart chakra is my favorite chakra. When I speak about it, it, it literally touches my heart when I'm talking about the heart chakra and how important it is for us to be living in alignment with love to be bringing love to our lives, to be living in, in compassion, to be living in peace, especially with ourselves, right? So this is the main message the angels are bringing for the beginning of your week, my dear. Choose to step into the week in alignment, at peace, feeling calm, feeling ready for the week, looking at people, looking at situations in a different way. Invite yourself, give yourself the chance to look at things differently, just for a moment, stop and look at it differently. Look at it from your heart, look at it with compassion, look at it with understanding. Try to forgive, try to let go, step into, the, into this week refreshed, new, with your energy ready for the week without carrying anything from the past, anything from the past week, let it go. Every day is a new opportunity to begin again. Every day is a new opportunity to do something different. So why not choosing for one day? Give it a try. Choose to be in love. In love for your life. In love for people around you. In love for yourself. You will see how different it is. So this is the invitation. This is the energy to begin your week with. They want you to begin with your heart, listening to your heart, in alignment with divine love, in alignment with your truth. And your truth is that you are a divine being. You have light within you, even though you might not feel it sometimes. Even though you might feel heavy, you might feel in the dark. No, the light is always there. It is your, your choice. It is your choice to look at it, to allow these lights to come through, to allow these lights to shine through the darkness. So they want you to begin your week feeling calm, at peace, bringing love to people, to situations, and to yourself. And you will see how much it changes. You will see how your week goes in a different way, in a different vibration just for the facts that you're choosing to be love. Tell yourself when something comes up, when a thought, when a negative thought, when a negative feeling comes to surface, stop, breathe, activate your heart through your breath and tell yourself, I am love, I am divine, I am light. And you will see that instantly your energy shifts. Instantly you will manage to see things differently, to see the truth to understand that everybody and everything in your life is also divine, also, also come from the same source that you do. We are all one. 
when you understand this, when you understand this connection between all of us, everything changes. So they are asking you to start working in your heart, to begin your week by opening your heart, working in it, bringing light, activating the energy of love within you, and you will see how much everything will change. Okay, my dear, so beautiful. I can be talking about the heart chakra for the entire day, but I can't. <laughs> so let's move on. Let's go now to Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, inviting them as always to be here, touch the cards, speak to you, speak through me, give us the right guidance, the right energy for Wednesday and Thursday for the middle of the week. Let's see how, okay, and the cards here, how it goes. Oh, one, wonderful, interesting, school, lessons, my dear. So this, it has two types of energy. One is about learning, about choosing to do something, uh, to deepen your knowledge, to learn something new, to literally go to school, to literally go and do a training, go and do a course and start learning something, start beginning this that you so much want to learn, you so much want to begin uh, inviting this energy of bringing something new, new knowledge, new understanding. So they're inviting you during the middle of the week, they're giving you this strength, this courage, this um, this energy of action for going and doing the things you want, beginning to study th about whatever you want, whatever you feel like studying, but choosing to begin, choosing to go for it, okay? Learning new things for yourself, for your inner growth. This is the first thing. The second thing is about learning, having lessons about your life looking like they were saying with the heart chakra, looking at things in a different angle, looking at things from a different angle, looking at things with different eyes and understanding there's also a learning. Understanding that everything in our lives is a reminder that you are love, that you are light, that it's time for you to return to this, to return to the divine energy that you are. So learn from experiences and grow, grow in love, grow in alignment with who you are, with your inner light. This is why we have difficulties. This is why things are happening in our lives to teach us to be loved again, to teach us that we are divine beings. We can create our lives. We can change the things we want. We are in alignment always. The alignment is always there we actually choose to get out of it and you always have the opportunity you always have the chance you will always have the chance to choose to return to choose to take care of yourself to choose to listen to your heart to choose to feel happy and peaceful without being affected by anything outside of you remember the happiness is not outside, it's not in things, it's not in people, it is within. When you choose here, when you choose your heart, then everything around you will, will start uh, changing, okay? But you have to change here. You have to be yourself. You have to be this divine being that trusts, that loves, that is happy and peaceful in every situation. I know it's not easy, I know it sounds really easy, I know it's not, but having the awareness, having the understanding that you have the choice, that you can go home after all that happened throughout the day. You can get home, you can breathe, you can connect with the divine being you are. And you will see that by doing so, you are releasing, you're letting go of the heaviness, learning learning to be you again. This is why we are here. We are here to learn who we are, to learn that we are divine beings of pure and unconditional love. Okay, my dear, it's so nice. Okay, let's move on. Let's go for the weekends now. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And let's see what comes through. I'm gonna continue shuffling. Oh, there you go. It's oh, this one here. So, hi, console. That's what we're talking about. Evolution, information, and potential. This card is about growing. This card is about going deeper within you, within your existence, within your truth. 
understanding there is a whole team of spiritual beings, of beings of light, of angels with you to support you, to guide you. But you have to choose. You have to choose to grow. You have to choose to align, to go deeper, to learn, to become stronger in your spirituality. And this is what this card is about. It's about the support you receive constantly from your angels, from, from your spirit guides. And it's about the choices, the choosing to be you, the choosing to grow, to learn. That's why they were giving us the cards, the school cards, to learn to do everything you can to return into the alignment, to return and to grow your consciousness, to amplify your consciousness, to see things in a completely different way. And this card talks about this, about your evolution, about inner growth, about inner knowledge, about understanding why certain behaviors, why certain patterns within you, within your soul, this is, this is a school, this is about, again, it's about learning to be you, learning to choose you, learning to be the divine being you are, remembering this. That's why I always say one of my main works in this planet is to help people and myself to remember who we are, to return to who we are. And this is what this, this is all about. Whenever we're talking about working with angels or any other kind of path you might choose to grow spiritually, to open your consciousness, this is all teaching you to return to who you are, to remember your divine truth and remember that everything is one. So this is an invitation for you to go, to grow, to have an inner growth, to go deeper within you to amplify, to enlarge your energy, to get into higher levels of consciousness, to expand your consciousness, to expand your energy, your vibration, to change yourself to a more positive vibration. Why are you still choosing to be in a negative behavior, in a negative mindset? You have the choice. Choose you. Choose to sit, choose to meditate, choose to heal, do everything you can. It's for you. You're not doing this for anyone else. You're not doing this for your husband, for your kids. No, you're doing it for yourself. So choose you today. Choose you this week. Choose to be loved. Choose to be happy. Choose to be at peace. Okay, my dear? Wonderful. Thank you for joining me in this beautiful guidance for this week. I am every day on my social media, also on my Facebook and Instagram, posting daily guidance from the angels, posting Reiki, posting some um, games and quizzes to help you think about yourself, to help you understand a little bit more about the angels, about energy. It's very fun. We, our beautiful souls family is growing. We are all connected and it's beautiful. So you're more than welcome to join us also there to participate and to be constantly active in our vibration. Okay, my dear, thank you for joining me as always. If you would like to book a personal guidance with me, you are more than welcome. The link will be in the description below. Okay, take good care of yourself. Have a wonderful week. Have fun. Enjoy. Be in alignment with love. Allow yourself to see things differently, to learn, to grow. Okay, and you will see that everything will start changing when you choose to change your focus. Okay, take care of yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Namaste.